Welcome back, Sithling here. Today I want to talk about player shops using the new hoppers. So I've got two designs to show you. Uh, this one right here is designed for one-to-one -one trades. And it's very compact, so you know, one diamond for one block of emerald. That's the example I'll use. And then over here I'll show you the design principles you can use to expand it to multiple blocks per trade. Uh, or multiple things per trade. So in this case, you spend four diamonds to get an emerald block here. Um, but those are just samples. Now, these designs are, of course, going to require some sort of server protection to make sure that people can't just you know punch their way in and grab all your stuff. Here's how it works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and toss in a diamond. It'll automatically suck it up, and it spits out an emerald. Let's see where to go. Emerald. Emerald block, that is. So if I toss in another one, I get another one here, and it automatically spits it out. And if I was the owner, I could have some sort of lock on my house so that I was the only one who could get in. And we can see the two diamonds sit here. And then here's my stock of, um, here's my, oh wait, where's it? Oh, it's my stock of uh, emeralds are in here. Um, now, there is a flaw with this, and that is if you run out of stock, they could end up paying and not getting anything back. So that would be, you might want to add some sort of indicator light that, you know, is hooked up to this hopper. I don't know. Anyway, so it's really small. Uh, if you, you can actually go pretty quick. So if I drop in blocks about this fast, it's fine. Uh, it still works and it collects everything up. Uh, it'll never it'll never de uh, deploy too many blocks. Sometimes if I like put in say uh, five at once, uh, it did actually deploy five five blocks to the dispenser. It only dispensed three of them just because the torch couldn't go fast enough here. But the two other ones are in the dispenser, so it's still not gonna, it's still going to give the consumer everything that they paid for, but they might have to look in the dispenser. Uh, so yeah, it's very small. Basically, the idea here is you have the input hopper that feeds into this hopper, which is just shy of having um, having enough items in it to have this comparator output a pulse length of two or a pulse strength of two. Uh, one more item will trigger that. So that's what turns off this torch and this torch. Uh, it's going to turn them both off, and that allows items to flow out of this hopper into the chest, but it also allows an item to flow uh, out of this hopper and into the dispenser. And so basically what happens is the item flows into this hopper and it turns off the torch. Then the item flows out of this hopper and it turns the torch back on and it'll turn this torch on and this torch on at the same time. So overall the effect is uh, both of the torches stay off for the exact same amount of time, which means both of these hoppers are going to get rid of the exact same number of items. And that's why even if you put in you know, a bunch of diamonds at once, it still is able to, to have the hopper dispense the right amount of, of, uh, of items to the dispenser here. And then this torch here uh, turns on when a payment is received. And it will kind of blink a little bit because um, just because of how the system's set up. And that's what causes it to dispense multiple times but you can see the torch didn't necessarily blink fast enough in order for it to dispense all of the items that ended up in the dispenser. But it's a very small system. What is it? It's like uh, three wide, four long, something like four tall um, because of this redstone. Very small, very compact, pretty resource light. Just needs a couple hoppers. Uh, so over here, I want to show you how you can use this system to make, uh, to make something that accepts payments that are larger than one in order to dispense. It's pretty obvious how you could modify this to dispense multiple things, but you could either use more hoppers or you could have it a trigger for longer. Uh, anyway, I'll leave that as an exercise to the viewer. Um, to accept multiple items for payment, I actually came up with what I think is a pretty clever way to do that. So here's here's how this, this side works. Uh, if I put in four diamonds right here, it grabs them all and then dispenses uh, dispenses the thing. So I can put them in one at a time, too, and it'll suck them up and remember how many is received, four, and then it'll dispense another one. And if I come around here, we can see all those diamonds are in the chest right here. There's eight diamonds. And yeah, and two, uh, two of these emeralds were dispensed. So this system is actually almost exactly the same. 
We still have a comparator here, and we still look for a signal strength of two going into these torches. The difference is there's a bunch of repeaters here. So what happens is, uh, you know, you put a diamond in here, it gets filled into here. If it's not enough to, whoops, got a text. If uh, if it's not enough to trigger that, then uh, then it, this is going to stay at an output of one. When we hit that threshold and it triggers the um, triggers the signal strength of two because there's enough items in this hopper, which should be at uh, 20 items in this stack. Oh, sorry, 19 items in this stack. Um, then this torch turns off and this torch turns off and this repeater turns on. So this is a little monostable circuit I threw together. And that's basically just going to make sure that this hopper dispenses one item and this dispenser dispenses the item. Um, so as soon as you hit the threshold, it's going to dispense an item. And then uh, these repeaters are going to um, are going to are basically delay the signal for this hopper, which is going to allow it to funnel items out of itself until it's empty enough that uh, that uh, basically until four, four items have been filled out. This is just enough delay that the hopper will wait for four items to, to clear out into the chest before, uh, before turning the signal off again. So um, one, two, three, four. Actually, uh, I kind of wonder if I can trick it into taking more items Hmm. Nope, doesn't look like it. Right, of course not. So <laughs> that's good. I, I just thought of an attack, possible attack for the system is that maybe you could have it um, uh, basically f flicker up and down between the threshold and and not. But it looks like um, because of the delay on this repeater, this repeater is going to stay on uh, for long enough that even if you get this to blink on and off, uh, the, the, the repeater is still going to um, stay on. So this will stay powered and it won't dispense any more items. Anyway, so the key idea here is that by delaying the signal that goes back to the hopper and and disables the, um, the hopper dispensing items, you can uh, you can have it clear out more items uh, from from the hopper and go going into the chest. And uh, it's it's a very simple system. It, it is really just like this one, organizationally, except for. I just have some repeaters going into this hopper and the monostable circuit over here. Uh, so pretty cool system. Uh, it's uh, again, it does rely on your server having some sort of server protection, which probably isn't going to happen during the snapshot. But uh, you know, once it comes out, this could be really useful. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.